Hello everybody, um, welcome back to Matt's Allotment. It's been about two months since my last update. I, uh, I apologise for the delay, but I've had a bit going on. had all my wisdom teeth removed, so that was fun. And uh, there's not been an awful lot happening here at the allotment, to be honest with you. Um, I harvested the rest of my carrots, which I'll show you now. So I was pretty pleased with that. There was a little bit of carrot fly, but it, it, it wasn't that bad. Um, I also harvested all of my parsnips, which I will let you look at now. So yeah, really pleased with um, with all that, especially the parsnips, especially that dobber that I've got. Um, I've frozen those. Um, so uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll, I'll let you have a look at uh, what everything's looking like now. So in the first bed, the no dig bed, the uh, cabbages are coming along. They are getting hammered by something, I imagine probably slugs or snails. Um, I've got a couple of beetroots in here as well from, um, from when I thinned out the others. A couple of purple sprouting broccolis. Um, I've actually got a bit of a head science form, or a couple of heads science form on this one. Very small at the moment, but they're getting there. Um, where the onions and the garlic were, yeah, it's all looking a bit untidy to be honest with you because of uh, some leaves from a tree. But again, I've just I've just put some beetroots in there from from when I thinned them out. Um, but yeah, I've also got a little bit of rogue garlic here, I think. So uh, I'll leave it in there. But uh, yeah, that's that. Um, raspberries I have trimmed back now. Um, I didn't get an abundance often to be honest with you. I only got about half a dozen raspberries, but it was only their first year. I think I think that's probably why. Um, so I've just trimmed them back, and uh, they're a lot bushier than they were this time last year. So fingers crossed this year we'll actually get something. Um, that's the bed where all the carrots and parsnips were. They've just been covered up. The bed where the potatoes were, I've done a little bit of an experiment. I've put in a few... I planted like seedlings in uh, the late late September or early October, I think it was. So, yeah, early October. So here we've got some um, some leeks just in this row. Then we've got some Swiss chard, quite like Swiss chard in this row, as you can see, just there. Um, and then we've got quite a few uh, spring onions dotted around as well. Um, so yeah, they've been in there for about about six or seven weeks, I imagine. Um, they have grown slightly. Um, most important thing is they've not died, so I consider that a success. Um, onto the brassica bed. Here the um, the plant looks really healthy for this purple sprite and broccoli, but there's just no there's no head to be seen anywhere as of yet, unfortunately. It's the same with the rest of them. Um, so I'm hoping that that's going to change, but it is getting a bit late now. Uh, cabbages, same story as the other ones really in the no dig bed. Yeah, I was just, just looking a little bit battered, and there's there's a slight heart forming, but not not really. Um, kale is finished for the year, so I've just covered that up. Um, same for the wildflower bed, and the same for the salad bed, which I've just covered with a net to keep um, the leaves and the cats off. Um, and yeah, what a surprise! Same story again for the um, the courgettes, but. No surprise there, they went on for quite a little bit longer than I expected to be fair. Um, beetroots, um, need thinning out soon, but to be honest with you, the ones that do have a bit of space are about, about the same size anyway. Um, so I'll wait until they seem to not be catching up and then then make a judgement. But yeah, that's, um, that's everything for now guys, that's how everything's looking. Not a lot going on as I said, but it is November so we're just coming to the end of the year now. Um, yeah, that's how everything's looking. Um, thanks for dropping by again, and uh, take care.